Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making some really yummy hot ham and cheese sandwiches for dinner. Now these I'm using puff pastry for. It is an awesome shortcut. I love puff pastry. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, for this recipe I am using some deli ham. Um, this is just the Oh, what kind is it? Probably oh, doesn't even matter. Black Forest ham. <laughs> I'm using Black Forest ham, um, puff pastry. I have some American cheese and some cheddar cheese. I have some Dijon mustard and I have three egg yolks. Um, first one I've colored with a little bit of green food coloring. Second one I did a little bit of orange food coloring. And the third one I did some black. And then you'll need some flour to roll out your puff pastry and some Halloween cookie cutters. Okay, so I have got my oven preheated to 400 and I am just opening up my puff pastry. Puff pastry is probably one of the most used ready-made items that I use. I don't use that many pre-made things, but this is definitely one of them. This one's still really cold. It's going to use a little pressure and I'm going to try to get four sandwiches out of here. And whatever I have for scraps is going to turn into cheesy breadsticks. I never waste scraps. <laughs> I think I've told you that before. Not with uh, pie filling, not with um, pie crust. I always turn it into something. Tortilla scraps, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to get a fork and I'm going to dock this whole thing because whatever I don't use, like I said, I am going to turn into breadsticks. Cookie cutters. Your choice, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna do a pumpkin. Just remember that you need two of whatever you're cutting out because we're making a sandwich. My oven, oh, my oven was preheated to 400 and it sounds like it is ready. Ooh, that didn't cut out real well. My bat. Oh, I was trying to get more. Well, it looks like I'm just going to get four out of here, which is fine. Breadsticks, here we come. <laughs> I'll do two bats. So when I do cut out my neck sheet, I'm going to do it exactly the same way that I did this one. I can hear him coming in. He's going to barge in. <laughs> I need a paring knife. My little pamper chef paring knife. I can't say enough good things about these. I use these more than anything else. Okay, we'll move that to the side and do our next one. Sorry, bumped ya. Now I have some um, sriracha mayo 
left over from a dinner that I made. And so I'm gonna serve that on the side for extra because I love mayo, especially sriracha mayo. It's a sriracha lime mayo. It's pretty much my favorite. Everything's my favorite. <laughs> But that one is my favorite meal. I think I like it more than um, when I make the, um, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Chipotle mayo. That's what I'm trying to think of. I like Chipotle mayo, but I like the Sriracha lime mayo even better. Okay, these guys are cut out. I'm going to move them to the side here. You know, you could save your puff pastry scraps. Um, I'm probably going to, like I said, turn them cheesy, but if you wanted to put butter or egg and cinnamon sugar on them that would be really good or you can just uh, throw them in the fridge and if you're going to make a soup like if you want to make a quick soup like a chicken pot pie soup you know make a creamy chicken soup and just bake these little pieces and throw them in like croutons that would be really really good And I'm not going to refrigerate these before I bake them. Um, even though I know this is heating up, I'm not going to. It's just dinner. Parchment paper. Put some cheese down. And then I'm going to do a couple with American cheese. I like ham with American cheese. I know a lot of people don't. I love it. I love American cheese. I love all cheese. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Okay, so this guy has arms I need to be creative with. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that cheese small enough to go in his hand. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You can do it however you want. You don't have to be this picky about where your cheese is going. I just really like cheese. And then the ham. So when we go to stick these together, we're gonna have to be careful about how we're sticking them together and um, making the top, we're gonna have to stretch it over the filling. But that's okay. You can have your deli slice this extra thin and that would help out. And you know what? I think I am going to put, I'll put it on top of my ham here and then put another piece. Oops, that's probably a lot. Oops, that stuff squeezes out fast. because if you put this directly on the puff pastry, it could make it soggy. Not that it will, I don't know, but um, it could. Which I got some there, oh well. I 
and the cheese is going to kind of melt and carry the mustard. Plus, we're going to have some other stuff on the side, so. Hopefully you can see everything I'm doing here. My husband's going to take one look at these little tiny sandwiches and <laughs> be like, what are you doing? Oh, he's so funny. When we first got married and I was putting a face on everything for um, Halloween or cutting out little pumpkins and ghosts. I, I you know, did, did that for my kids all those years. When he says, I don't know if I'm really supposed to eat this or if it's art. <laughs> Just good Halloween fun, that's what it is. And you can make them as cheesy and ham if you want. You don't even have to put meat in here if you rather just put cheese. My mom's a vegetarian. She would eat just all cheese in hers. Or some veggies in with it. I know he'll eat this pumpkin, so I'm going to pack it full of ham. Okay. Now, I think I am going to put one more piece of cheese over the top. All right, now we need to be able to seal these things. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this color egg wash on all the sides here. I'm just gonna put egg wash along all the edges. You wanna seal them good. And then I'm gonna take a bat. I gotta stretch him over, make sure my edges seal. You can fill them less if you're afraid of your edges sealing. If they pop open, I don't really care. It's just dinner for us. If I was making them for other people, I would have put less filling in and um, so they would look prettier and I have a fork here Go around and seal my edges Okay, and that's my little bat Same thing with my pumpkin That over my filling good. This is kind of tedious. This is probably something you, you want to make for ahead of time and stick it in the refrigerator and then bake them up later. Stretch my bat a little bit.
and then my ghost. And then comes the decorating that you don't have to do, but you can if you want. Start a little bit. Okay, so I guess they're all going to have orange peeking out because that's the color I chose to do the edges with, but that's okay. I think my ghost is going to be orange anyway because I forgot to leave a, a plain egg. And I'm going to poke holes in the top. Or maybe I'll have a green ghost. That's what I'm going to do. You probably won't make as big a mess when you do yours as I do. <laughs> hey, do you remember Slimer from Ghostbusters? This pocket is him. Mm hmm That's really what I was going for. And then my husband is so going to appreciate this. Not really. He hates it when I color anything or put sprinkles on it for his food. He thinks they're cute for the kids, but not for his. He's gonna now have black ghosts or black bats. All right, now. I am going to sprinkle this with a little bit of sea salt and I am going to also sprinkle with just a smidgen of garlic powder because that's how we roll in this house. I'm going to put these in the oven at 400 and I'm going to start checking on them at about 20 minutes. Um, they should take around 25, 30 minutes, but I'm going to start checking them at 20. I will see you in All right, so I have some of our puff paste right here, and we are going to use the same egg color. Motion detected at the front door. <laughs> and these are going to be some scary bread sticks. And whatever I have left over, which I'll have a lot of, but um, the kids are coming tomorrow. So I could pop a tray of these into the refrigerator and let them wait until tomorrow for the kids. Dogs are barking fools. I'm sure you can hear them. My tiny little uh, chihuahua um, goes into my sewing room and then she doesn't come out when I want her to. And so I keep the door shut. So then she's, she'll stay in there a couple hours and then she's mad when she hears something and she's locked in. These are kind of like Swamp Thing bread sticks. I'm going to put a little black in all of them just because it's creepy. All right. Now, they need flavor. Sea salt, 
all of them will get sea salt. They will all get some garlic. And I am going to put black pepper on them too. And then I'm just going to use plain old Parmesan cheese. Because it works well when you're doing stuff like this. Or if you have some grated in a container, that would work too. But I am out. But I always keep this stuff. Okay, so these are also going in a 400 degree oven, but they are not going to take as long. These should be done in probably 10 minutes, maybe? 15? We'll see. These guys are done and they look delicious. And then our little squiggly Parmesan and garlic puff pastries as well. Nummy, nummy. Well, it's dinner time, so I have to go tell my husband dinner's ready and he gets a couple little tiny sandwiches. <laughs> but I did make a pasta salad to go along with it, so I think he'll survive. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. And ring the little bell in the corner for notifications when I have new videos come out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.